Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Your Time to Shine, a radio show designed to help you explore your own divine gifts. Good evening, and thank you so much for being here with me this evening. I'm so happy to have you watching us here on uh, A1R Psychic Radio, and so excited to be here tonight. Um, I personally have had a lot going on in my life in the in the last week, and I think that other people have been having kind of the same thing going on. Today, we are in 7-7, seven, seven, and so there is a 7-7 seven, seven portal um, that is among amongst us right now, and opening this gateway to wonderful, awesome things. Um, it's changing us, it's downloading um, light codes and helping our light bodies and helping us as light workers and, and humans in general. And it's activating um, new things in us so that we can get farther along on our path and work with our manifestation of what it is that we are wanting to create now in this lifetime and all of these energies are going to be a little bit heightened um, until the lion's gate which is in august at the beginning of august so we've got you know just about a month of these energies um, where you might be feeling all kinds of things like for me i've been having these weird allergy symptoms with a scratchy throat and my voice changing and i don't normally have allergies or am I susceptible to this but it's all part of things that are going on within us and changing within us um, some of you you know may have cold or flu-like symptoms or you know you may be feeling hot or cold or you know just different types of things going on with you that you're not quite sure what that is. Um, if they have a tendency to kind of dissipate a little bit, um, you can bet that it is your body going through this activation through this new portal that it has, um, that is being open and activated for us today. So kind of with that in mind, I just, I felt the urge to pull a couple of cards. Um, I was just feeling that people were needing some messages um, out there. So I pulled a couple cards, um, would like to share those with you right now. Um, the first card I pulled is um, Chantel and she is um, all about love finding new love, reconnecting with love. Um, and so, you know, this can be anything from loving yourself to finding a new love interest or igniting a new love between two people. But it's also about remembering, first and foremost, to be able to love yourself, to understand that it is okay to give and to receive and to love yourself and be okay with um you know with that whole with that whole piece um sometimes it's really hard for us to love ourselves and that you know that's the hardest thing it's a lot easier to love somebody else right um, or to give love to somebody else but the hardest one is to be able to do that for ourselves and so it's just a little reminder for all of you out there to you know love yourself and to love others as well open that door for giving and receiving and being okay with that you know it's one thing to say sure you know i can do that but it's another thing to really feel it deep down inside and i just get the feeling that some of you out there are just needing to hear somebody else tell you that they love you you are cared for and you are loved so this card is coming to you uh, to just to reinforce that whole thing that you are loved, that you are cared for and protected. So the second card that I pulled, because I just felt like one wasn't enough. So I pulled another one. Um, this is Shantae, um, the angel of peace. 
And so I thought that was really interesting because first we're talking about love and now we're talking about peace. And, you know, some of you out there have been going through some really rough times and it's like you feel like you've been in in the hurricane and it's now that you're you are you're in the eye of the hurricane you're able to see the clearing you're able to see all of the stuff going on around you and you're able to find the peace in it you're able to find the balance okay so knowing that you have this coming to you that you know the worst of this is over you're just about through that storm and so to hang on just a little bit longer you've got the angel of peace coming to you standing beside you saying i am here for you and everything that you have gone through so hang in there i know it's been rough i know it's been a little you know a little brutal um, but you have what it takes to get through this because you know creator and the universe isn't going to bring you anything more than what you can handle and i know some of you out there are, are waving your white flag and saying okay enough enough i've i've hit my i've hit that that level that brink and i'm pulling out the white flag no more so this is just a card to let you know that you have that support and that you are through the roughest time so hang in there all right and as we all kind of go through some shifting and some changing um, with the seven seven portal um, be kind and gentle with yourselves know that you are you know being enlightened and that you are going through something fantastic and magnificent and it's all going to be wonderful on the other side when this is all said and done okay all right we have a caller on the line right now so we are going to head to the phone lines um we have michelle in fort saskatchewan alberta canada good evening michelle and welcome to your time to shine good evening how are you i'm good how are you i'm great thank you what can I do for you this evening? Um, I guess I'm curious what you pick up around love. I have everything I need, but that. <laughs> <laughs> I, Besides wow. self-love, et cetera. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, were you just listening to the card that I pulled tonight for, for everybody? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you are looking for particularly for a for someone coming into your life. Is that correct? A, a love interest? That's, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Michelle, let me tune in here for just a moment and um, see what your guides have to say. There's going to be just a little moment of silence as I do that, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay? Thank you. So, um, Michelle, I'm trying to get them to clarify because I just keep getting the word powerful, powerful. Um, you, you have a, you have a very, you, you stand in your own power. Okay. You know, you know what it is that you are desiring, um, in life and you stand firm in that. And that is a really it's a fantastic attribute to have. Um, there are people that have walked in to your life and you've said, no, that is not, that is not for me. It's like you're, you are definitely being particular and you're waiting for that right someone um, to come in. And I'm being shown that go. that's good, that you're, that you're being particular. It's like, um, they're showing me that you feel kind of bad, like you feel like you're being picky um, or choosy, and maybe even sometimes you wonder, well, you know, what's what am I, what's wrong with me? Why why isn't this person 
you know, mm. not good enough for me. It's, it's, but it's the only word I can use to describe kind of what they're showing me. Um, and so it's not that feeling of superiority by any means. It's just that you know exactly what it is that you're looking for and it hasn't arrived yet. Um, yeah. They're saying, don't give up. Remember, you know, because when that right one does come in, it's going to fulfill you in so many ways. Um, so don't feel like you're trying to, it's almost like I feel almost this energy of you with, oh my gosh, I have to do something. Um, I'm going to miss my opportunities. Like I'm, I feel like I'm missing my window of opportunity and that's not the case. Okay. Um, yeah. they're saying, just take a step back and take a deep breath. Okay. Because it's, it's going to happen. All right. It's already like brewing. It's like I'm being shown like almost like storm clouds. Right. So it's like, it's brewing, it's coming, it's formulating. Um, so everything that you've been asking for in someone, um, it's been heard. Okay. Um, so that piece of it is kind of in that, that germination stage of manifestation where it's, it's starting to happen. It's starting to formulate. And so you're going to be so excited when that does like take hold and become the reality, because it's going to be a, a beautiful uh, relationship that just organically kind of happens. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm okay. So hang on just, um, I, I feel like this is a person that either they're, all they're saying is friend. So I don't know if this is a friend that you have right, that you may already know right now. Um, that's going to blossom into something else, or you're going to meet someone that starts off and you think, oh, well, you know, I think this person can be a really good friend to me. And then it's going to blossom into something else. But there's something about friend and friendship that is going to be the beginning stages of a, a longer lasting relationship, which those are really the, actually the best ones to have because they start out with such a solid base. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's this person, it's like this person is on the same vibrational level as you are. It's like, I see you, um, like all your interests are the same. Um, the things that you like to do and enjoy and love to do, they're going to be, it's going to be a mutual, you know, a mutual thing. Um, there's going to be lots of things that you guys realize, oh my gosh, I like that too. Or, you know, I've done that, or I've seen that there's going to be all these different connections, um, that come through, through conversation and conversations really big in this next relationship for you. Um, I feel like conversation and communication wasn't that strong in your past relationships, but this one is going to be a little bit different. Good. It's going to have that open line of communication that you've been desiring and asking for. Okay. Um, It's like, it's like I'm being shown, like you have all your angels and guides behind you and they're like, yay. And they're just jumping up and down. And so, and so excited. It's like, finally, this is finally, this is the one. Um, so this is definitely going to be a relationship that's worth waiting for. Um, okay, thank God. <laughs> I keep hearing, um, in the middle. Okay. So when I hear that, 
it's it's like that person is going to be kind of in the middle, right? It's not so. I'm not sure that it's financial, but I'm going to use this as an example so you understand kind of what the middle is. So somebody who, you know, maybe might not be making a lot of money to the person who is kind of like uh, the average or the middle, right? And then there's the ones who are, um, that are making a higher amount. They keep saying in the middle. So not only does that mean maybe financial in the middle, but it also may mean that person who is equally, okay, thank you. That's what it is. It's equally balanced, right? Um, this person is, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of another way to describe what they're showing me. Uh, someone who is like not too emotional, but not too stone cold, right? It's kind of someone in the middle. They're very grounded. They're very uh, balanced. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's that middle. It's like fine. It's that person that's in the middle, right? Um, which carries a lot of benefits, right? The person that kind of can pull you down and say, it's okay. Let's Let's stop and think about this for a moment, right? It's that grounding energy um, to bring you back into balance. Um, so that's where you, that's where the two of you are going to work so well together is he's gonna bring in that balance, um, not only for himself, but for you as well. And he has, he has very grounding energy. Awesome. Yeah. I, I see that you guys could possibly be traveling um, a lot too, like taking little road trips um, and seeking out uh, different adventures, right? It's like both of you want a little adventure. Um, that's kind of what, you know, makes you, that, that's what brings you the joy, is finding the adventure in life. And, you know, this person's going to be able to compliment you in that respect as well. Hang on, let me see what else that they're they're bringing through for you. They're showing me that you've been doing a lot of healing. Um, yes. A lot of bringing balance. There's that word again. Balance back into your life. <laughs> um, but they're, they're wanting you to know that they recognize all the healing, all the work that you've been doing for yourself. And it's not going unnoticed. And I think they, they say, you need to realize how much work you have put into this so that you can reflect back and say, wow, look how far I've come. Because they're showing me that you haven't done that. Um, you feel like you've been putting in all this work and there's, it's like lots and lots of work, but very little gain. And they're saying, yeah. no, s stop and look back at where you were, okay? Where you were a month ago, where you were six months ago. And you're going to find the shift and the changes that have come about through your healing and you're going to go, wow, okay, I, I guess I have really done some great stuff. And so it's about reflection and kind of giving yourself a pat on the back for, for everything that you've, that, you know, that you've been doing and that you have accomplished. Like that card I was reading earlier, you know, you've, you've been kind of through that 
the hurricane, right? And you're coming, you're coming out and you're stronger for that, right? Um, so yeah. it's time for you to reflect on that and go, wow, look at what I, look at what I accomplished. And what did that, t you know, what was that experience? Um, what was that experience about for me? Because sometimes it takes a little time and then, you know, a little time from what you went through and then the going through the healing process to be able to look back and say, oh, I understand now. I understand why I, I went through that. It may not have been pleasant, but yeah. you have a different perspective on why, why you went through with what you went through. And there's and they're saying better days, better days are ahead. Much better days. Good. Yeah, they're saying it was a it was it's been a really rocky road. Yeah. And you've you you've really done an amazing job of navigating that. So what they're showing me right now is they're saying, you know, you, you've done so much and you've accomplished so much and you've done all this healing. Um, now, what is it that brings you joy? It's like, okay, now you need to find the mm -hmm. joy, in, right? What fills your soul? What types of things, yeah. what types of things can you bring to the table? Um, that fills your soul. Okay. They're saying that you need to get out and have some fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Whatever, whatever that looks like for you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, even if it's sitting down and having coffee or tea with a friend and laughing, yeah. right. Bringing out the laughter, right the reminiscing, right? To fill your soul back up. Um, do you do a lot of hiking? I, I just keep seeing like hiking boots and and moving and walking through nature. Um, I do walk like my dog every day kind of thing when I fall most days. And then like I've been to Sedona many times hiking. Which is okay, okay. Yeah. So it's that it's that hiking, right? It's the hiking in the nature and Im immersing yourself in that again and finding um, finding joy in that. So, you know, maybe it's you take you take the dog and instead of walking around the block like you normally would, maybe you get in the car and you, you know, you drive to a park um, or yeah. something and, and get a little bit of that hike in. Right. To rejuvenate okay. that soul, right? Yeah. To get out from, <laughs> they're saying to get out from the the mundane, the mu mundane. Yes, there we go. Um, yeah. You know, we're all creatures of habit, so you know, getting out of that habit pattern of walking the same you know, walking the same walk every day with the dog, right? It's about breaking through and starting something different. Yeah. And just that little bit, just breaking that mundane routine um, is going to start, you know, enlightening your soul and going, okay, here we go. This is what this was all about, right? I remember these days. I remember what this was all about, right? Yeah. And then from there, you can just take it another step. Okay, so what else can I do to to bring to bring that liveliness, to bring that that joy and fill my soul, you know? You're you're very intuitive. So ask the question, you know, what is it that's going, what is it that I can do today? What is the one thing I can do today to bring more 
joy to my soul, to bring more fun to my soul. And then see what pops up for you. Okay. Because I think you'll, I think you will quickly get some ideas. Oh, wow. Hadn't thought about this. Maybe I should go do this. Or maybe I should go try this. Um, yeah. It's just listening to that little piece within you, okay? I'm being told, just remember who you are, right? That yeah. intuitive, that intuitive light worker, that intuitive being, and and then go with that. Okay. okay. Does that make sense to you? It does. Wow. You just blew me away. That was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so very welcome. Um, You're an angel. You've got some really great things coming. Yeah. It's just about getting out there and it's really enjoying them now. <laughs> I know. That's right. Yeah. And the hardest thing, the hardest part about doing that is just saying yes. Yes, right? it truly is, yeah. Oh, okay, they're showing me this too. So have you ever watched the movie um, Yes Day? Yeah. Yep, so it's time for you to have a yes day. Find somebody yeah. to go out and do a yes day or an afternoon okay. or even, or even yeah. an hour, right? Engage them to help you to have a yes couple of hours <laughs> or half <Okay>. a day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, Michelle, we're coming down to the last few seconds of our show. So I want to say thank you so much for calling in tonight. Thank you so much. You are Any so welcome. You're so welcome. Have a great night. You too. Thank you. Okay, bye. That does it for me. Thank you again for tuning in. I hope that you are all doing well and the card readings resonated with you this evening. Do feel free to reach out to me at my, uh, web my website at www.wingsofsoulswithjulie.com. I am now booking sessions into the end of July and 1st of August. You can reach out to me on my Facebook pages at Julie Yeager Walker Medium and your time to shine. Good night, everyone. <laughs>